And then, and then, the very next voice that you would hear after that would be none other than our own pastor, Bishop Thomas Fowler. He will be coming in his own way with the word of God. But the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that can see that out of the mouth of God. Let's receive Sister Nancy, the choir, and our pastor.
God bless and bless you. May God the saints. Church have more of you didn't lose anything when you got saved. Because when you get saved, you say, Well, I gotta give up this, I gotta give up that. But thank God I gave it all up for the cause of Christ. Amen. And it's the best thing that could ever happen to me. I don't know about you, baby, you was miserable, but I'm not. I am happy that I changed my life before it was too late. Don't wait till you're your dying man. Don't wait too late, say. Don't wait till you you better die to leave here and say, Lord, save me. I want God to save me now. I don't want to wait till I'm almost dead to give God a praise. I want to praise Him now. I want to give my God my best now. Glory to God. Thank God for now. Yes, I thank God for now. It has not been easy, but I thank God for right now. Second Samuel six chapter. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. I praise you, Lord. Mm. I feel something is building right now. If you ever go get anything from the Lord, you gotta do your best. You gotta give God your best. Hallelujah. That's why when I come in during the week, I come in and pray on this building. I come and pray. Tuesday and Wednesday, whenever I come, I pray. That God will save someone. Yes. That God will fill with power of the Holy Ghost. I pray for a wayward child. Hallelujah. That's going contrary. I pray for praying that the building is empty, me and the Lord is here. And I pray. So when, when you come, prayer's already going on. Somebody give God a praise. You walk in a place that prayer's already going on. I don't wait till Sunday to pray. I don't wait till the weekend to pray. But all the week when you're at work, somebody got to lay before God. Somebody got to be here praying. 
Somebody got a three cents. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's my song that we're going to say. It's about praying. Prayer is the key, saints. Faith unlocks the door. We got to keep praying. We got to keep seeking the face of God. Things may be bad. Things may be uncomfortable, but we got to pray that things get better. The black man won't be shot down in the street. We're praying that our children will be treated and have to have to be particular how they speak to our police officer. We're paying their salary. Amen. What makes us different because of everybody? How they've been mistreated now through the years, through the centuries. But I tell you, God sees it all. God sees it all. Nobody get away with anything. You may think you get away, but God sees it. You're going to pay for all your own doing. For somebody's praying. Pray for our school system. That putting out children in a certain category and mark for the rest of their lives by unfair people in places that could do things fairly, but put things on your records and try to hurt you down the road. All kind of things are happening. Say, right. and you'd be surprised what's in a child's school report that the parents doesn't see. That's right. That's why every now and then it's good for you to go by the central office. I want a copy of my child's records. I got a copy of mine when I was in school. Amen. Check on your child. Make sure that teacher's doing right by your child. Yeah. So like this case for the head, this young man washing the clothes out with his hand. These teachers, you don't have any, you have a good teacher, but you got some bad ones too, so you gotta watch your child. You gotta be your own advocate. Because we live in a mean world, saints. A mean world. But only God's gonna bring justice to this world. Are you being political or being truthful? Psalms, I mean, 2 7 6, the reverse says, And they set the ark of God upon a new car and brought it out of the house of and been a dad that was in Gilbert, Uriah, Uriah Ahi, the son of Abinadad, drove the new car, the new car, and they brought it out of the house of <coughs> Abaddon, which was at Gilead, according to the ark of God. And Ahi went before the ark. And David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord. All the man of instruments made of firewood and even the harp and the psalter and the summer and the temple and the sunlight on the summer. David was excited about getting the ark back where it's supposed to be. And seven verse and the anger of the wall was kindled against me as I had been and the God smote him for his error, and there he died at the ark of God. So you gotta be handled how you handle God's business. Amen. You have to you can sit, I'm about to move slow. You gotta be careful how you handle God's business. Now see the, 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 the cart it never was supposed to be used to transport the ark. It's supposed to be carried by the priest on the shoulders. But they was on the herring and they forgot about what God wanted. Don't get in such a big hurry that you can't remember what God had told you or how you're supposed to carry God out God's business. So they got in the hurry and the ox stumbled and this man was strict, stricken down because they were not doing according to what God had written. So I don't know how you think about things. You might be upset because, like David was, he was displeased because the Lord had smoked this man and he died. 
And David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How shall the ark of the Lord come to me? Now, how are we going to get it here? Now, you're going to kill this man. Now, everybody's afraid if I touch it, they're going to die. But he said, Come touch it. Only the priests on their shoulders. So David would not remove the ark of the Lord unto, unto him and to the city of David. But David carried it aside into the house of Obed Edom. So he got mad, so I'm just going to drop it off. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to leave it over at Edom's house. And God said, that's okay. You know how we get mad when God get upset? And we talk about, well, Lord, I ain't going to, you know how we do it. I'm not going to church no more. I'm not going to pray. I'm not going to pay my tithes. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to come to church and sit. So God said, okay, David, you do what you want to do. You go, go on back home. Sit down. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obed Edom, Gittite, three months, and the Lord blessed Obed Edom and all his house. See, when you don't want God, and you think you're bigger than God, he'll show you. Well, if you don't want your blessing, David, you will upset because of what I've done. I'm a blessed soul over here. So the blessing for three months was over he was enjoying it. <laughs> he wasn't uh, he, he was he, did, he was he wasn't even Israelite, but he was enjoying the blessings of God. Your sinners can enjoy the blessing of God when you refuse to do what God wants you to do. You say, why are they so blessed? Why is everything going that way and I'm doing all I can do? Because you refuse the blessing. Oh, he was like, oh, said, David, you ain't got to work it out. <laughs> Let's stay here a little longer. Three months, we've been, we never had so much money. We never had so much blessing. Things are happening over here. But never happened before. Miracles are happening. People have been healed. People have been delivered. And God, don't, don't, don't let it leave. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this blessing. Amen. David realized, I got to go get back my blessing. You heard about all the good things that happened in Obed Edom's house and how they was struggling, being cursed and losing battles and losing. Everywhere they turned, they were losing. They were not gaining, but they were losing. See, folks think that because God saved you and you start gaining and, and you forgot who God that brought you and you forgot who God delivered you and you forgot what God had given you and then you begin to slack back on God and then God will look at you and say, okay, you slack it back on me, I'm going to show you what slacking is. And God began to let things happen. Your money runs out. You can work at two jobs and still can't pay your bills. You're not paying your tithes. You're not giving. But yet and still you're working like a slave. But yet and still God said, go ahead and keep working like a slave. But you still will be broke. He said, like a man with holes in his pocket, he can't hold anything. But I'm going to come and tell you, when you reach back and grab the God that you know and the God that you left, you realize I left the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. I left Jesus. I'm going back and get him. I'm going, David had to realize I'm going back in. We're losing battles. The Philistines are defeating us. People are losing their mind. People are not doing well. Let's go back and let's do it the right way this time. Yeah. Let's do it the right way this time. Yeah. Let's do it right. Let's do it right this time. Let's get it together. Look at somebody and say, let's get it together. So when, uh, which was done by the advice of the office of the first Corinthians, I mean, first Chronicle 13 and 1, the word again referred either to the gathering of them when they uh, made him king in Hebron, as the Jewish writers really observed that then they gathered themselves and not David. See, when you, when you curse saints, everything around you don't work. I mean, you're working hard, you're doing more, but yet still you have less. And it seems like I'm working less and have more. Amen. Don't work, don't, don't figure that the same. But with God, he makes all things possible, impossible possible. So God was showing David and showing the nation of Israel, without me, because of your battles that you have won, your success, your victories, even because of your army, army, 
armies, but of your strategy, but it was because of me that you won. It's because of me you got a better job. It's because of me you got you can pay your bill. It's because of me your house is blessed. It's not because of your education. It's not because of your job, but it's because of me. But when you leave God, saints, things fall apart. David had to realize, I got to go back and get my blessing back. I got to go back and get that heart because I know what's going on now. Somebody else has been blessed and they've been blessed on my blessing. I should have that blessing. I should have what God has for me. But I messed up and got angry at God and lost my place with God. Let's get back with God. Say, let's go back and give God a praise. They went back and he went back and got the Ark of the Covenant. And as soon as he began to get the Ark back the right way by the priest, he began to give God a praise. Let me tell you something, Saint. When God brings you out of a situation, don't you think people will be excited because you're being blessed? That Eve's wife got upset because the king began to dance and began to give God the praise. What you gonna do when the music stops, Saint? But I tell you what I'm gonna do when the music stops. I'm gonna keep on dancing. When the music stops, I'm gonna keep on praising Him. I'm gonna keep on praising God. When things turn around, I'm going to keep on praising him. Why? Because God is in my praise. David kept on praising him. Even when the music stopped playing, when the tambourine and the harp stopped playing, David kept on dancing. David kept on giving God the praise. The Bible said David danced so hard. He danced out of his ephod. He danced out of his clothes. And the Bible said his wife, Mrs. Michael, got mad because the king was embarrassed himself. But you know what? He, David's an experience. David's experience, the goodness of God, have got back into his life. When you joy come back, the praise come back. Give I give God a praise. When joy come back, the praise come back, saints. Then what he gave God praise about. Because the, the muse don't make you praise God. No, no. But it's the joy on the inside. Yes. Hallelujah. The best praise I've had is not in the church. It's not around the church. It's been some place I've been out by myself. And the Holy Ghost hit me right where I was. And I began to give God a praise. I began to give God a hallelujah. I began to say, Lord, I thank you. Just remembering memory the things that God brought me through. How God has been there all down to the year. I remember the time I think about our childhood. And how God brought us through sickness and disease. And nobody went to the hospital. Nobody went to the doctor. And we all got healed by the power of prayer. And the same God that when I was a 10-year-old boy is the same God now. The same God that brought me through this, that, the other is the same God now. But I didn't know God. He kept me. He's the same God now. When I was drinking my liquor and acting a fool, he's the same God now. When I just lied and mistreated and done wrong, he's the same God. And I can still praise it when the music stops. I can still give God a praise. Hallelujah. David said, I don't need no music. I don't need no music. He began to give God a praise. I don't need no music. I can praise God. Why? Because yes, yes. God been good to me, saints. Yes. God has brought me from long ways. Yes. Have I crossed every T? No. Have I died every I No. Have I lied? Yes. Have I done wrong? Yes. But God is still good. Yes. Yes. Or yes. Obed Edom, he wasn't saved, but he enjoyed the blessings. Don't you know, saints of God, God will take your enemy and bless them to make you jealous. Hallelujah. God made Je uh, David so jealous. He made him so upset because the victory was not in his hand anymore. They was losing. They was losing every battle. They were losing every opportunity because God wasn't with them. When God is with his saints, the devil can say no, but God will say yes. The enemy say no, God will say yes. Won't that house God say yes. Won't that job? God say yes. Won't that raise? God say yes. God will bless your saints. Why folks being blessed around you? Because you're refusing for God a praise. 
Celebrate those around you. Give them when they honor them. When they move, get promotion. Don't get mad. Sit back and frown. Be just like Obed Ed, Edom. Sit back and enjoy the blessing. God want to make you jealous so you can give God a praise. Even on your job. And come out in the bathroom. Many times I would go to work and things were not going well. I would go in the bathroom and give God a praise. And give him a thank you praise. And I would come out the bathroom at my job phone call coming in they won't show the phone ring and I'll get the phone call God had a blessing with my name on it look at your body and say God got a blessing with my name on it with my name on it I'm going to give God a praise in my good time in my bad time in my lonely time in my hurting time I'm going to give God a praise the devil won't get my praise But David had to see the enemies being blessed. Thank you, Lord. Then he realized, you know what? I, I wasn't such a great commander. I wasn't such a great king. Don't you know God will take the least things among you and make you celebrate it? Things that you should be celebrating, somebody else is celebrating it. Why? Because you refuse to give oh, God a praise. Oh, yeah. I see folks come to church and they sit there yeah. like I'm not on the wall, like Mr. Green said, won't move for nothing. <laughs> and they're going through hell and high water. Yeah. Why are you going through hell and high water? And there's John over there, he ain't saying, give God a praise. Yeah. Give God a honor. God will put a praise on the enemy to turn you around. There are things that happen all around you. Things that happen all around you. And you pay your time. You come into the house of God. But things are not happening. Because the music stopped. You're not praising God. I'm going to praise without the music. I'm going to pray without the organ. I'm going to pray without the guitar. You don't have to sing for me. You don't have to dance for me. I dance for myself. I just got to pray. I'm like David. Look at me. I want to see you praise God. I want you to see me give God a hallelujah. I want you to see me leaping at the fool. Why? Because God been good to me. Somebody give God a thank you praise. Oh, my God, my God. I love it. I love it, saints. Yes. Hey. Hey. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap. Tell you how bad thing is. Right? <laughs> when he said to me, I said, yeah, things are bad all around, but God is good to me. Okay. Yeah. Well, can't you see your bill has been not paid? Yeah, yeah I'm still praising God. Yeah. You see, if you don't have no money, I'm still praising yeah. God. Yeah. You go, so, uh, yeah, I lost my mind. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I lost my mind. Because I know when God was blessing me, it was God. Yeah. Yeah. When I was sick, it was God. Yeah. When I was going through, it was God. Yeah. But I was going, and he was, he was there. He was there. Yeah. It might not be happening right yeah. now, but I'm still going to praise him. Yeah. In my season, yeah. out of my season, yeah. I'm going to give God a praise. Yeah. I'm going to give God in bad time, in good time. Yeah. I'm going to give God a praise. Yeah. When I'm sick, I still can praise God. Yeah. I might not get leap, but I can say hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, when the music stop, I'm still going to praise him. Yeah. When the music stop, I'm still going to dance. Yeah. God. Somebody give God a praise in this house. But God, the Lord, will make your enemies celebrate your blessings when you refuse to give God praise. I will come, to, he's coming to the house for Thanksgiving and with praise. When I go through the doors, I said, Lord, I thank you for another Sunday. I took the cut off between Monday and Sunday. I know that's right. But I'm here, Jesus. Yes. I might not be much. I can't sing that way, well. no. I can't preach that way, well, Lord. But I can dance like Chris. Yes. I'm like David. I may not like play an organ. I may not like play a drum. But I remember, I can dance. Yes. Everybody can dance. Yes. You might not do one thing or other, but you can dance. Yes. You can dance. You might not play a tambourine, but you have Dance, I'm a dance. When the music stops, I'm still going to dance. Glory to God. Then you say, 
I'm not going to bow down to the golden image. Now, 90 feet high. 90 feet wide, 90 feet high. Golden image represented God. He was making a God out of the gold that he had made. And he said, everybody in this, this, this dynasty is going to fall down and worship his golden image. Yes. That represents me. I'm God. That's what he's saying. It's, and the people are saying, no, uh -uh, wait a minute, hold. We only have one God, and his name is Jehovah. We're not going to serve your God. Yes. But we've been good to you, Meshach. Meshach, Sadrach, and Abednego, we've been good to you. You, you, we brought you here from a baby. You grew up in our custom. We've been, you've been blessed all. You've made the best food. You wore the best clothes. You got the best education. Yeah, brother king, but one thing about it. We got only one king. His name is the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and we're not going to bow down to you. No, well, but you don't understand. Everybody got to bow down. When the music sounds, everybody fall out and worship me. Yeah, but... Okay, we don't get, we're not even considering this matter. I know that's right. It's not up for discussion. We're not going to bow down. Yes. But yeah, but uh, so one of the other fellows here and said, you know what, King, you got them Jews over there, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they don't dance, they don't bow down, they don't do nothing when you play. Now that's a disgrace, it don't make sense. He, he know, they know the rule. You've been good to them. Now you got to do something about them brothers. Because we're going to mess up everybody. Everybody's going to be the same thing if you let it go on. Yeah, but he went to them and told them, look, brother, I, 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 I'm trying to help you. Now, if you don't want to go, go and do what I say, we're going to get the furnace hot. And by the fact, we're going to heat it seven times hotter yeah. than it normally is. Yeah. But okay, we don't care how you heat your stove. We ain't going to bow down. Because we only serve one God. His name is Jehovah. And we're not going to serve you. Somebody give God a prayer. You got to make up your mind. I don't care how, water or how low it gets. I'm still going to serve Jesus. I remember one time I could have had great jobs and good jobs and uh, very good pack and, and sales and the sales and marketing. Had to have a deal. But, but Mr. Gray said it's not a good idea to be dealing with cigarettes. That's okay, no problem. I didn't take the job. Miller Brewer, Miller Brewer, no, I didn't take the job. So all these things I denied because of my belief and my stand in the Holy Ghost. But don't you know one thing, saints of God, I come to tell you, you might go through some suffering by refusing some better jobs, a better situation, but at the end of the day, God is still going to take care of you. Hallelujah. He's still going to bless you. So we had a brother here faced with a difficult situation. But he said, we're going to trust Jehovah. But well, see, how did Jehovah going to deliver you out of this fire referring? Well, the, what I'm about to put you in. Okay, we don't care. We're not even going to consider this battle. We still ain't going to bow down. We still ain't going to the, uh, do it to the little image. Our only one we bow down to our Jehovah. We've been here a long time, I know that. But yet still, we still trust in God. Yes, God. Yes. So when they heed the furnace seven times higher, and they said, what are we going to do? We're going to make it so hot. And they said, not only that, we're going to bound you with your clothes on. And we're going to throw you in that furnace. So when they got to, the, the men got to get a strong, they said, give me the strongest men. I want to make sure that I throw them in and they're going to get away. So they went to the grab the brothers and threw them in there. And the flame was so hot, it consumed the guys that threw them in. Somebody get a call of prayer. You can't go down. You can't go down unless my enemy go down with me. Somebody give God a prayer. You thought it was over, I'm going down. But the one that you chose to be my enemy, they went under. Somebody give God a prayer.
going to burn. But when you come out, I come out on the wall. I'm there. I'm there. Come on, dance. I'm coming out on the dance. Go ahead and get by the That's how you come out.
things. Jesus, you're living with me, so I'm not worried. 
You in the fire. You in the fire with me. You know what I'm going through. And what we're going to do when we get in the fire? We're going to dance. God, y'all is in a program about like dancing. Don't know why you're dancing. Yes. Just dance. Yeah. Mm. All morning I've been hearing the voice of Sister Gary. That's the policy, baby. Yeah. She's not here, but her spirit is still here. She will holler. She will keep hollering. In other words, you can send Jesus I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Don't pass me by. He's not gonna pass you by, saints. He loves all of us. He don't have no respect for a person. He loves all of us. A position don't mean nothing to God. All of us equal. It means one thing. You keep dancing. You keep praising. Hallelujah. Let's all stand. Those who need prayer, need all to anoint with. All of us need the fire of the Holy Ghost. The preachers are coming down.
I'm going to hold you. Remember, don't give up your dance. Amen. Like David. Amen. You dance. Amen. Even if music stops, you keep dancing. Look at your David and say, keep dancing. Don't give up your friends. In Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you for this service. Lord, we're not dismissed, but we just stop. Continue to open doors, make ways for your people. We believe you, God, has already done. In Jesus' name, everybody say amen. Amen. amen.